Hey there and welcome to another Fortnite action figure review video. Today we are taking a look at the 2019 Legendary Series Leviathan. I know it's been a little while. It's been sitting on my shelf for a while. It just seems like so many other things pop up. But it doesn't matter. We're here. We're looking at him now. And he's cool. And what's even cooler is, well, I'll tell you when we get to the actual review. But there he is in box form. We'll flip this around. We'll take a peek at the back. There he is, Mr. Leviathan. Call me Fishman. And there's the Series 2 back in the day, back when they were brand new, uh, cross sale. The only one after this we have to do is DJ Yonder, and he will be coming up in a few days. I had originally said that I wasn't going to get to these until January. I changed my mind, and I want to get these done before the end of the year. So I'm really interested and very excited to get these out of the box finally. It's been way too long. Let's get him out now. Leviathan is a legendary skin, and he was released way back in Season 3 of Chapter 1. He's part of the Space Explorer set, and you can purchase him from the item store for 2,000 V-Bucks when he is available. What's really cool about this figure is the outfit, or the, the design, and why I like it is we could potentially possibly get a Mission Specialist figure at some point, because it uses generally the same mold. Let's jump right in and take a look at these accessories down here. He comes with the fish tank back bling, has a tank, some dials over here, it looks like another tank of some sort. Here's the peg, attaches to the hole on his back, and yo, there we are. The EVA harvesting tool, this looks like a very dangerous, very deadly weapon of some sort. I don't know. It looks like there's a claw there and a drill there. I don't think I want to be anywhere near this thing when it decides to start working or chopping away at me. That looks scary. A gunmetal gray and green submachine gun. That's pretty nice. I like the submachine guns. I think they look pretty good. A gray and black hand cannon. Again, I think these look pretty good. I hope they actually stay in his hand. An anti-gravity crystal, and on the back side there is a little slot so you could slide his fingers in there to hold on to this thing. Otherwise, it might be just a little bit slick. And finally, a bowl of popcorn. Now, I couldn't remember if we've ever had popcorn as an edible in-game to regain health. It seemed like we have at one point. Otherwise, I'm just going to go with this is referencing the popcorn emote. Eat it and eat it and flinking around, whatever. On the back, again, there is a little slot for his fingers to go in so he can actually hold on to this bucket of popcorn. Now we're going to take a look at the figure, its articulation, and kind of the design. It's really cool. I like it that it's not just a standard white jumpsuit, space suit. Uh, I can't remember in game. It seems like it's more of a white than this kind of a greenish color. It has, I don't know, what is this, a, um, a lime? It's a light green, kind of a fades in and out. There's little bits of whitish here, so it's kind of a really cool green. His head does not... Wrote, uh, does not have a hinge for back and forth, but you can rotate it. His head does come off actually really pretty easy. So I'm not really sure. I've not tried how easily you can swap heads with this one. If you could swap head e heads easily, well, then this head comes off pretty easy. I don't know if all figures are supposed to have the head come off that easy. I don't know. He's got a pretty good torso movement back and forth like that and side to side like that. The waist on my figure is a little bit difficult. Uh, it's so difficult I'm not going to rotate it on camera. His arms or his shoulders rotate all the way around. They have a hinge, so you can take him up like this. He can kind of float around like he's in space. There is a bit of a butterfly right in there. You can see it, but it doesn't really do a whole lot of anything. He's got the bicep rotation, double pin at the elbows, his wrists rotate, and there's a hinge so he can rotate it back and forth. Finally, for the hands, he's got this finger hinge. Don't like them, not very well, but some of them are not horrible. Finally, we're going to get to his legs. He could do the splits about that far. You can 
walk him around a little bit like that. He's got the thigh rotations right there. Double pin at the knee, so you can do this so he looks like he's floating around in space. And finally, actually not finally, but almost finally, he does have this boot rotation or calf rotation. I usually call it calf rotation. My right calf just does not want to rotate. I don't know why. You got a hinge at the ankle and the ankle can turn around and then finally the toe has a bit of an upturn right there. Doesn't go down, but it does go up. And that is his articulation. I like this figure. He's a really cool looking figure. I've not never purchased the skin in game. He looks cool. There's other things I want to get. But uh, shall we see what he looks like all geared up? I really like this. He can hold both of his guns extremely well. This is a huge, a monumental, I don't know if there's a bigger word that I could say. This is a big surprise. It has to do, let's see if I can zoom in here, while attempting to continue recording. Sometimes that fails. There we go. But you can see right here, that little notch here, he can fit his finger in there. And we'll go over here because, and actually on this one, the notch is kind of little. The finger has to be threaded in. So he holds these guns extremely, extremely well. And it's a wonderful surprise. That's exciting. And, well, it's a little disappointing that holding his weapons is exciting. <laughs> that should not be the reason we're excited over this figure. There's a look at the back bling on his back. He is not a happy looking alien fish, is he? All right, we're going to switch over and see him holding some other stuff. Now we have him holding the anti-gravity crystal and the popcorn bucket. You can see right there how the fingers hook into it on both sides. The anti-gravity crystal is just a little bit easier for him to hold on to. The bucket, you probably don't want to do just one-handed. You might want to just do, well, kind of do one-handed, but somehow like maybe have him hold the bottom of it just to make sure that he actually continues holding it. It doesn't just fall out. It fell out on me a couple times, but he can hold them. That's kind of neat. He can actually hold them. Some, some of these items with slots like shield potions get really difficult to hold sometimes. All right, final accessory. So like most harvesting tools with this legendary series of figures, it is a little loose. Actually, I got it hooked here a little bit, but it's a little bit loose. He will hold on to it if you want to pose him. For playing wise, it's going to probably pop out pretty quick. Um, and that's just right down here on the smooth portion of the harvesting tool. There's a chance if you hook it up here where there's more texture, more kind of lines, he might hold it just a little bit better, but you're also really not supposed to hold it there. It doesn't really work as a chopper, you know, clunk, clunk, clunk and all, but you can get him to hold it if you're going to pose him. So that's really, really cool. This is overall one of their best figures, I've got to say. Uh, maybe it's just the guns, and I'll have to try these guns on some other figures. But anyway, that is all I've got for you today with this figure. We've looked at all the accessories and everything else. So if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, it may be a little bit old, but if you still enjoyed it, please consider dropping me. I always say drop. Why do I do that? consider hitting the thumbs up to showing me and YouTube that you liked this video and consider dropping a comment if you have comments, concerns, questions, or anything about this figure. Maybe even say you have this figure and if you like it or if you don't like it. Yeah, tell me, do you like this figure or do you not like it? Do you have him? Do you don't? Do you not have him? Um, were you late to the game like me? Anyway, uh, thank you for stopping by and thank you for watching. If you want to be notified when more of these types of videos show up in the future, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification icon, and you're set. You're ready to go. You'll be notified. Thank you. Have a happy holidays and a wonderful new year. We will see you in the next video.